right, so welcome back, everybody. This is Dan and Anthony, joined again by the illustrious Joe. Amazing, on episode, he's back. On episode 10 of the Pregame Network podcast. Proud of us, boys. 10 episodes uh, strong. Mm-hmm. Proud of us. Um, so... I mean, there has been some stuff that has happened in the past week. So yeah, quite a few but first, things. our uh, our beginning ritual. ritual. Yeah. You know, since you are the guest and that punch card is not yet complete, what what have you been playing this past week, or I guess the past two weeks, three almost three weeks. Uh, well, it's it's been an eventful <laughs> uh, couple of weeks where I haven't actually necessarily been playing a, a lot of stuff, but I suppose um past. Past couple of weeks, uh, at first I was playing Pal World. Um, okay. Yeah, that I was playing that with um, with Courtney. It was a, uh, it was, it was actually a lot of fun. It, it was really just like it's basically a survival craft game, but with like Pokemon yeah, shit I on top. Yeah, I put a of couple it. hours into it. I, I can't like I don't think that those types of games are are for me. I just there's too much like micromanagement involved. Uh, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. yeah. There, and um, there's a lot of like it, it. It takes a lot of like the whole like Pokemon like IV shit thing that like a lot of like people who get like very into Pokemon or, or seem to be about and stuff like that. Like they're that I wasn't actually sure of. I was gonna ask you or whoever had played it like how how much the stats compare to Pokemon because like we we know Harrison obviously and he's big into that and there's obviously a lot of stats and stat growths and how things interact and yeah you make you make yeah, it sound a... like there's a lot of that in Pal World. There, there is, there is, um, there, I mean, there's, a, there's like, I, it's probably a little more simplified than, than Pokemon may or may not be. I, I, I feel like I remember Pokemon being relatively more complex than my, like my 12 year old brain remembers it being. Oh. Um, like when I look back into it, like people are like, oh, like there's these IVs and you can't see them or some shit like that. Or, you know, and then they make their Pokemon like whole different items and stuff like that. It's, it's not as complex. It's a little more like, I would say like Pokemon Go. Where it's just like there's like three stats. There's just like attack, defense, and health that like vary, and like you can't really see them unless you put on these special goggles. And then there's like passive skills that the the pals can like each get that like uh you can like if you want to pass it down to a specific Pokemon or pal. I I, I just call them Pokemon because it's like basically what they are. <laughs> I'm not even gonna like it's like like there's not even any. It doesn't matter. But you know, but yeah. you can pass them down by like their like breeding farm or whatever which was another thing that like was if i remember correctly was a facet in pokemon but the really the bottom line is it's like a it's a very it's a it's a very it, it really is at its core it's a survival craft game it just has like pokemon kind of like laid over on top of it like you it, it's like extremely similar to arc in that like a lot of the facilities you use and like the, the gathering and stuff is centered around like having these these pals gather like shit for you or operate like your machinery basically like like lighting furnaces and stuff like that or cooking for you yeah, that's another you, survival yeah. game i tried was arc i just i couldn't do it yeah arc uh, i don't I, arc is man, i i i like arc but i i am a i'm a human supremacist so <laughs> I, I, aren't we all I, yeah well listen we have we're we're here right now and i, I firmly believe that if you know, dinosaurs didn't keep us in the Stone Age. We would fucking kill them with tanks and shit. So, I mean, I'm not really, not really. You know what I mean? Some yeah. might disagree, but I don't. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, <laughs> <laughs> other, other other than that, uh, I've been playing a lot of Sea of Thieves lately. Cause uh, yeah, I, I saw you playing that uh, the other day. Yeah. Uh, they a, a while ago, like December, they released their um, Safer Seas update. I was okay. I was I was partaking in that. Um, I've come to some realizations like that. I, I I don't necessarily need to start ranting about it now, but like it was, it, it basically it's just like it's not that I'm like particularly good or bad at the PvP in that game, but I just simply do not enjoy the gameplay loop of PvP in that game. But does it I have like, like a large PVE portion to it? It it does, and that's the thing okay. is that like the PVE in Sea of Thieves is like so much fun to me that i am willing to do it for like literal crumbs just because Mm. it's fun even though i like barely progress as a result Uh, and and i would actually i would jump into sea of thieves again i anthony i know what you're gonna say uh you me you and eric tried it like once upon a time and it just it it was the b team sets yeah 
It was not yeah. a good fucking fit for the three of us. Did you guys get attacked? I, I, I missed that one. Did no, it was just remember? the pure mechanics of, like, manning a ship. And, you know, like, if, if it springs a leak, then some guy's got to go down and empty it out with a bucket. Like, you, every little thing, every so, job, that just wasn't the right <laughs> dynamic for us. So it wasn't a, it was a teamwork problem on the It was a 100% teamwork problem. Eric's just like, Wait, where's another ship I want to shoot at? <laughs> Oh jeez. Yeah, uh, it wasn't yeah. uh it wasn't built. We were not built for that for that game. Um but I would try again. I feel like it could be fun. I would give it the old college try try again. My my whole th- my whole thing with it aside from some of the d- the developer stuff in the background is I like like Joe just said he's like oh, I'm willing to do it for literal crumbs and I feel like crumbs yeah. is all the game has to offer really. Despite it being out for a while, it's just it 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 always struck me and based on everything I've seen from it, it's not really a game like to progress and get cool things and kind of like like i feel like that I mean, kind of game still getting updates right like it won't so, i know i know, I know but what but what you get out of it it's not like like we dan you and me we talk about call of duty a lot for obvious reasons and we talk about yeah. like the lack of progression systems and a lack of rewards and how they're always late to the party for that kind of thing Sea of mm-hmm. Thieves doesn't really have anything of note to get outside of really hyper grindy cosmetics and even that is just a small pool for people who play for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours, right. hours on end there's there's not a lot to unlock and that's part of the charm for some people where it's not where where there's not like a lot of stress it's just gameplay at its purest which has its appeal i get that but it's it's like it's i like needed something to more from it yeah, so but there, Deep Rock, there, there's there's less to find in sea of thieves than deep rock that's that's a good example okay. like i think back. that Deep Rock may actually be more like, I feel like Deep Rock like, might be a little bit more my speed anyway, because just because it is focused on PVE. But the 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 bottom line, okay, Anthony is like kind of like half right. I would not say that the amount of cosmetics in Sea of Thieves is in any way, shape, or form small. Like not even a little bit. It, there there is an absolute fuck ton of stuff. Especially there there is a cash shop. And that is fucking filled to the brim in and of its own right. Oh, um, that's weird. Y- yeah, um, but the there is a shit ton of stuff you can buy. A-, a lot of it is locked behind extremely grindy commendations, like he was saying. So that is true. But so there like, is what's also the gameplay loop there. Like you set sail, you go to right, a bounty or something. So uh... the thing about Safer Seas is it's it it is it's it feels like it's like the ex- almost the entire. A lot of the experience in Safer Thieves, Safer Seas is like basically like you're it's there's no other players. It's just you on and, and whoever you decide to add to your crew to play with uh, on the boat. And like obviously like you, you can still get attacked by skeleton ships. You can still get attacked by megalodons. But like the like going to find treasure, navigating, getting through storms, fishing, everything like uh, I don't know if I don't I'm not 100 percent sure if you can do voyages in safer seas i can't remember if i've tried um but like all the different like uh basically quests like that that they can assign to you so that you go to to x place and do this or that there's a there's a decent variety uh, of things that you can do but really just that is like a lot of fun for me i i i i quite like i just enjoy it and, and the thing is rare really doesn't like that people I feel like Rare doesn't like it that people don't enjoy their PvP as much <laughs> as they want them to. So what they did was they they took Safer Seas and they like they basically made it so that like when you're playing it, one you there's like reputation levels for every like faction that like you turn loot into and and shit like that. Um, okay. They made it so you can't advance cert past a certain point. And they also made it so that your rewards are reduced to like 10 or like 20%. I can't remember the exact figure of what you would get on a high sea server populated with, you know, other players who could could or could not potentially kill you and take all your shit. Um, and, and that's, like I said, that's that's all well and great. Like, I, I, I think that, like, I, I'm a, like I said, I'm a very mind your own fucking business kind of guy. That's, that's the way <laughs> I, I, I look like. That's the way I look at Helldivers. I don't think it fucking matters, especially because like there's no economy in Sea of Thieves really to ruin. It's just like uh, I suppose a, a competition 
if you want to call it that. It's like, you know, why would I go and uh, I suppose do this if I'm already rich, but so many of the people who play that game already have like so much money they don't even know what to do with because they've been playing it religiously. Um, but really, really just the bottom line is that the, the, the gameplay loop that isn't part of PvP is fun, but the PvP loop, it, which is what essentially what they kind of really are trying to force you into in 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 the high seas it's just not fun and it's not even it's not <laughs> even necessarily about like like losing or winning because like this is the thing like they they added this thing where it's like you can do this kind of on-demand pvp thing it's called hourglass right yeah. um and, and i participated in it because one of the things i like to do is i like to play as a skeleton in like a lot of the games that i, I end up playing <laughs> um and you can if you if you get oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> so you get if you you increase your reputation with this one faction by doing hourglass you know bottom line that's what i was trying to do but that's the context for why i was doing what i was doing um but i ended up going into it just like like you know hey i'm I'm here, I don't have anything to lose, and I'm here to kill another player. And my other, my opponent probably doesn't have anything to lose, so let's see if we can enjoy this and have a good time. And what ends up happening 90% of the time is uh, we circle around each other, we shoot cannons at each other, the holes we make by shooting the cannons just get repaired, we bail the water that fills in, and we do this for like 30 to 40 fucking minutes, or, <laughs> a, a, and we... we and or we try to board and the, the gameplay loop of boarding is firing basically firing yourself out of a cannon or waiting in the water for a boat to pass over you and that sounds like fun yeah and, and what ends up happening at the end of that is basically i'll get back on back into this later but but basically what ends up happening is it, it's just spawn camping that's really all it, that's what ends up happening is like when when i win what ends up happening is i board my opponent's ship i kill them with a sword because they I, I'm I guess I'm on a computer and I'm like a you know a jumpy fuck. So I jump all over the place and I just attack them with my sword and they usually die and I just I run down into their like their uh their basement deck thing or whatever and I eat all their food. You know, even though I'm not hungry, I'm at full health, I just fucking waste all their food by eating it as quickly as possible. <laughs> and then I just run upstairs, I light their ship on fire, and then I wait for them to respawn and I kill them again. And I just oh. wait for their ship to sink. And that's like basically PvP. That sounds miserable, um, honestly. Yeah, it's boring as shit. And if you lose, it's most of the time it's the same exact thing happening to you. And it's it's just it's just boring. The, the fights, like, and if you go on like a lot of social media sites, if you happen to look at Reddit or the forums, you'll you'll see that a lot of people are complaining about this, this that this is the loop of hourglass, um, that the matches like sometimes have gone into nightmares of like over two hours. People mm. just fight it, like, oh, and. and yeah, and I'm just like I don't have fucking time for that. I'm an adult. I have other shit to fucking do. I'm not doing this. And and the bottom line is I'm just like I was at a point where like I was trying to increase my reputation. I'm just like I don't fucking care anymore. If you put holes in my ship, I'm not going to repair them. I'm going to try and board your ship and kill you and set your boat on fire. And if my ship sinks before yours anyway, then I guess I fucking lose and I don't give a shit. So, it's like I I'm like basically at a point where like I don't try because it's not fun and that's the the thing is that is what PvP is in high seas. So, but but now it's a matter of I've been playing for two hours gathering loot. So if I don't try, all of my shit, all of my effort has gone to waste, and some dickhead who just joined the game is gonna like walk away with everything I've I've like gathered on my own rather than gathering it himself. And if I don't like, if I try to run away, he could just chase me for fucking two hours and make sure that I never have any moment to, to stop at like an outpost and turned it in it, it like i said it's just it's all right well it's maybe fucking... we shouldn't try see if these that sounds like a hellscape it it, it is it is kind of fucking annoying More but if you, play on, if you play on safer seas it's fine because you just like i said there's there's the whole finding the uh treasure there's there is also like like i said anthony was saying that there's nothing to do in the game um there's there is actually like I, god i i don't even remember the exact count but there's more than two one or two pages of tall tales which are like two to three hour kind of like not on the rails things but like kind of like kind of on the rails like um like you sail to one place and there's like a dungeon or something there you have to solve puzzles and fight enemies and and dig and do this and that it, so there there's there's definitely a lot of stuff to do in it and and 
Rare is just incapable of making good good <laughs> PvP. So there's, there's that. Yeah. All right. Like well, Power World and Sea of Thieves, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I don't have time for this. That's what I hope everything boiled down to. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Oh my god. Uh, all right, Anthony, what have you been playing lately? Uh, so I, I told I told the both of you that I had started um, Assassin's Creed, like the the newer RPG games, and it's just like I was telling I was telling you, Dan, that like like the the tutorial fight ended with me picking up loot, and like that like took the wind out of my sails yeah. and like sunk the boat. So I haven't gone back to it just yet. Um, I, however, did end up playing uh, the Senua game, uh, the first one. Uh, oh, Hellblade. Hell, Hellblade. Hellblade Senua Saga. So I went and I played <laughs> it. And a um, couple things. Uh, both that game and the sequel, very slow-paced, narrative-driven. Uh I don't know why people are jazzing them up to be something they aren't. I see people comparing them to Devil May Cry. Um, that is a complete I think, wrong I think, comparison. I think, it's, okay. I think it's even in the description because they, they did the reboot, right, for Devil May Cry? Or am I mixing up my Ninja Studio Ninja again? I can't even remember. Theory? No, I think I'm thinking of Ninja Gaiden. No, no, no. Nin no. There's... No, no, no. The Ninja Theory did... There's there's two Ninja Studios, and I always get them mixed up. One there's of them nin, did a, Ninja Theory and Team Ninja. But that, none of that matters. Is the game is not like a Devil May Cry. It's not. A, it's not really an action game. The combat is more fun than you think mm -hmm. at first. But there's not a, there's not a lot of it, and that kind of took me out of it. Anyway, um, making that compare. What I was getting at is that comparison does not do the game any favors at all. Um, it is, it is like, I think I'm near the end of it, but it's, it's just, it's slow. It's, it's not that great. It's okay. Uh, it's a unique little experiment with like, they, they do this thing with like the audio because it's like, yeah. she's, she, she lost her fucking mind. So you're hearing voices and right, that lets it's like in nature of psychosis. Yeah, fucking the game opens with a with a mental illness warning or like yeah. disclaimer or something and they talk like oh don't worry we talk to people. The 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 mental illness advisor was like the first name in the opening credits. And I was like, "Oh, okay, oh, wow. they, I guess they took that seriously." Right. But anyway, it, it leads to a few neat gimmicks because it, it's like the one thing I liked about the game is that there's not a lot of hints or on-screen stuff. That's phenomenal for me. I love that. I love just figuring things out or like the game being clever and how it teaches you things like so mm. like if you're in combat there's not like a lot of heads up display shit you're just fighting and if there's an enemy out of out of your line of sight the voices in your head will actually like do something so like watch out behind you or something like that and it because the entire time they're talking to you because you're out of your fucking mind it <laughs> it doesn't it's not obtrusive or anything like that so i thought that was neat and they do a few uh, they do have a few neat gimmicks throughout um, I'm almost done with it. Like I said, uh, I, 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 it's all right for what it is. Definitely didn't need a sequel. Definitely didn't need to be propped up as like a mainline title. I'm going to play that one next, but I have a feeling it's, it's, you know, people are shitting on that game and I, I kind of get it too. Yeah. And I think it's, I think what it is, I haven't played it yet, obviously, but I think what it is probably going to end up being is that it's like a seven out of 10 neat little experiment sequel to a neat little niche game that didn't really need to be made and Microsoft's just like foisting it to the forefront because they need games like that. So that game had no marketing and it just came out out of nowhere. And, it's and, and all the and all the marketing was just, you know, the main character screaming directly at the screen in like some <laughs> kind of like it's just like having a fucking freak out. A lot of games were like that. De De uh, um, State of Decay 3 did that. Gears 5 did that. There was a whole bunch of what games that did like... <laughs> empowered ladies screaming at the screen and it's just like that's not how you market a game there's a reason i haven't touched like senua. ladies yeah it's it, there's a like, reason i didn't touch senua until this point and it's part of the reason is the marketing what are we gonna say joe because of the fact that I, I i've been playing sea of thieves i've i've been using like the the xbox app on my computer like for the first time in like centuries mm -hmm. and i think because of that i saw you playing the game and i i, I started laughing because i know i said something like stupid what did I say to you? I was like, <laughs> uh, "What the fuck did you say to me?" I, I think I said, "I said, wasn't Hellblade advertised as a game about, about like some medieval Viking mother chick with like dead kids who's like severely oh, mentally ill?" Yes, yes. I thought and that's I what said, it was about. 
my response was it was advertised as some chick losing her mind. When you boot the game up, there's a disclaimer, and I went through all that part with you. The same thing I just I, I talked to. And, like, here's the thing. There's nothing wrong with little games like that. I think the main reason the game's getting shit on is because huge Xbox fanboys and Microsoft are propping that up right now. And I just I think it's like they, they kind of wanted an answer to, like, a lot of the cinematic experiences that Sony has got going on. And this was the only thing they had. But at the same time, they don't have a lot of games to begin with. So it's just like, we have the mother of all games. Like, they're trying to, like, hold it up like a halo, <laughs> almost. We have the best game made this decade. Come play it. Like, it's to the point where you get ads on the Xbox and whatnot. So uh, we'll, we'll see how that is. I'm sure by the time we regroup next week, I'll have played and finished it. Because these games are really short. That's one of the major yeah, like complaints. five six hours. Yeah, yeah right. and the, once again, nothing wrong with that. I think that's a, I think right. that'll right. affect people on the pricing. Yeah, I know. He sent me he sent me a picture of the disclaimer, and then I looked at the bottom, and it's like if you would like to find more about about psychosis and mental health difficulties, visit like www.hellbladehelp.info, and I was like, that's a, that's a fucking girl to type in. <laughs> yeah, I've learned but, I've learned more about psychosis through Hellblade. Yeah. <laughs> Not info. Like, come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So th there was that, and then um, I play fighting games. Obviously, played a lot of Street Fighter. There was an, uh, the updates to that. I'm still going through that. And lastly, I played Multiverses for the first time again after it re it uh, the first time again. Yes, because the game launched a year ago. And then halfway into the launch, they said, uh, no, no, this is just an open beta. And then it shut down for a year. I'm not falling for that. That was your intended release, and it just wasn't going the way that you wanted. <laughs> um, and uh, I've got to say, um, bit of a mess. I want to know where that year of development went, because they made, like, three characters for... Uh, one of them is not even done, but there's an event to unlock him early that's impossible to complete. So it's... All this, all the, it's 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 just a bit of a mess. It's act, the game is worse in a lot of ways. Like the menus are less stable. The gameplay doesn't feel as good. The gameplay options, like how your controls are set up and your UI elements, there's actually less options than w there were before. Um, in every part of the game, there's skipping. Every kind of skipping. The gameplay skips. The music skips. The network skips. The visual skip. I'm warping all over the place. The game is freezing. <laughs> the music is stopping and then starting back up. I, the, there's a there's like like the game will lock up and it's a coin toss whether you you'll disconnect your teammate will disconnect the game will just crash it is a mess now that being said when it works it's fun I did some of the single player and PVE stuff with Luke there's there's some stuff there it's way more grindy than it used to be it's it's a fucking mess I don't like I like they don't have another bailout where they can say like we're going to shut down for a year but like. If you played it before, it's more of the same. They updated the engine. I can barely tell. Uh, maybe that's part of the reason why the game doesn't fucking function. I I don't know what to say. It's it's. I've never had a game quite like this where it's like alpha period, beta period, uh, release that turned into open beta period, and then like We're they just shut backwards. down for a, they they shut down for a year. The game relaunches. It's less stable than ever before. There's less options than ever before. It's more grindy than ever before. I just I don't get it. Um, but Thanks. on the on the flip side, they do apparently like they they do say they're going to be more aggressive with updates and content. So hopefully they iron this shit out because there have there have been some rocky launches in fighting games and platform fighters. They can pull it back, but they just they need to move quickly because they already had the, all of their grace period is like gone. You 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 launched last year for as far as I'm concerned. Like you need to get the ball rolling on that. So that's that's where I've been at. Big yikes. Yeah, um, that's cool. <laughs> uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, I not nothing too far from the ordinary. Maybe put some mm -hmm. more time into the finals. Um, that's just oh, yeah, a good, good time. I, I don't really care. Yeah, what the finals is a said. lot like, of fun. Yeah, I'm honestly shocked that you are enjoying it as much as you are. Um, I'm don't get me that, wrong. Like I am thrilled that that's the case. Yeah, I'm that 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 five v five mode. Enthusiasm. That's that's where it's at. Like, because they, they yeah. very clearly had a game structured around, like, 3v3v, 3v3v, 3v3, and then they're just like, okay, here's a cool little mode. That mode is just, it's just a ton of fun. Like, even when you're losing, yeah. it's like, it's quick, and you're back in yeah. the game. Especially when you're playing with friends, kills. like, it's fucking oh, exactly. hilarious sometimes, it's, it's, too. It is, it is a ton of fun, so. 
I don't know. And, I've been enjoying uh, as far as like something new for me, like I, I jumped back into Diablo four. Um, primarily last night I made a seasonal character. I, I really have never done that before. Cause I always thought the concept of like your seasonal character resetting at the end of the season was kind of infuriating to me. I understand why they do it being an isometric uh, RPG. Like it'll get really fucking repetitive, but um, I, it, you know, it never really like, sat right with me for like an infinite type of, gameplay loop where like your your character would just get like so unbelievably powerful especially with the paragon boards that they put in for end game stuff uh mm-hmm. but i decided to jump back in for uh i think this is season four or something like that i don't remember what it's called but uh, mm-hmm. what what number of season they're on but they completely reworked all the loot as i'm sure you've heard um yeah. so not only did they like rework the uh like the drop rates and everything but they took out all of the hyper specific like affixes and descriptors and everything where mm-hmm. it's just it, it, it'll describe shit where like it, either it has no business being on your character or um it's like it's so specific of like a certain type of stun or a certain way like something moves that it's it's it was fucking ridiculous so they they took out a bunch of that they put in uh the codex of power where like now everything that you get as far as like abilities go or affixes on your on your legendaries you can it's now all in one place instead of like you having to individually salvage a piece of gear which was just fucking stupid to begin with mm-hmm. um i am actually having a lot of fun with it in the brief time that i i put in uh especially on a seasonal character i don't know if i'm gonna like create a character in the eternal realm so that i could continue playing with something that i like uh I, I don't know, but it's the, the drop rates. It's definitely noticeable that they've updated it. They brought it up to where, where it should be. Uh, so I'm having a good time with it. I'll probably play a little bit more tonight. Uh, but everything else as far as like new games for me is just kind of the same. I'm waiting until the end of June when uh, the Dark Tide content update comes out with a new map and they're ha- adding two new weapons. I'm very excited for that, as I'm, mm-hmm. I'm sure I've talked about before. That's really about it. As far as new games go, yeah. Um, all right. So with that out of the way, we're uh, about thirty minutes in now. Uh, do you have something you would like to get to first? Like I know what I want to talk about just so, right off the bat. Uh, I mean, I'll just I'll just kick things off a little bit real quick, just because uh-huh. this did happen today and it kind of snuck up on me. I, you know, it's just it's we're getting into that season where even though there's no more E3, everybody's coming out with their own little uh, presentations and whatnot. And I sat down yeah. and I watched. The uh, state of play for Sony. Did either of you watch that? I'm assuming Joe definitely didn't. But did you? Did you look no, up anything uh, on that? No, I I definitely okay. did not. <laughs> um, so well, it's just like anything else. You're not really uh, missing much. I, I'm not going to give you the play by play because even though uh, there was more than I was kind of expecting for like the period of time they set it in, there's really a whole lot of nothing in there. Uh, the, okay. the, the the thing opens up and there's um there's a fella. On there is by the name of uh, this just stuck out to me Kizzlebash. That was his last name. That's <laughs> that, that's the only the only name of all the names that showed up. And he introduces a new studio under PlayStation called Firewalk, and they showed off okay. a little game called Concord. Now um, I don't know if it's my general and growing disinterest in the AAA landscape or some kind of mental block, um, but it was the longest nine minutes of the presentation that I oh, experienced. Gosh. Um, they open, of course, with a cinematic trailer to show you what the game is all about. And what this game is, is basically their own take on Guardians of the Galaxy, that type of universe. Uh, scrappy ragtag characters, uh, you know, each of them kind of fill a little niche. You got the sassy chick, uh, there's multiple sassy chicks of the Asian and black variety. Uh, you got the quirky robot you got a you got a you got a guy who's kind of like a, a, a Drax looking, you know, this stoic muscle head and all this <laughs> all these other you got all the little quirky Marvel esque characters in there, um, and you know the, the the scene that plays out is much the same. Everybody's you know quirky, you know it's it's nothing can be taken super serious, you know it's like I said ragtag scrappy. Now the game uh, afterwards they actually showed the game they had the you know the little developer sit down talking about how much they love this and you know their inspirations like oh we took inspirations from strategies and fighting games I have no idea where the fuck they said that because it's just a hero shooter <laughs> uh, 
Um, uh, it's and and uh, this, this so it, it's just a hero shooter with all this all this nonsense. The the only thing that caught my attention was the fact that they have <laughs> they have pronouns on the character select screen. So I'm just like, oh, so this uh, is the, the, this is where we're fucking at now. As far as the gameplay, it's literally. Overwatch, if it played as slow as I think Destiny plays, that's all I can really say about <laughs> it. It's a, it's, it's a slog. It looks, it just looks like bland and unfun and just by the numbers and safe. And it's just, I just sat there and I'm just like, I'm just so done. Like, why is it all of a sudden like this trend has been dead? Everybody's trying to do hero shooters now, and this one just like I don't understand brand, that. Why? You, I don't so know. You, Valve, you, you, dude. You, oh, Valve's about like well, 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 we can talk about uh, that later if you want. But yeah, we're anyway, talk about so that. so we have so so that game g- comes and goes. Um, what else did they show? Uh, immediately after that, God of War Ragnarok coming to the PC. Uh, coming to the PC September. Oh yeah, when 19th. is that coming? September nineteenth oh, cool. is when right. it's going to come out. So, so I can finally that's, that's, play it. Yes, but you'll need to make that PlayStation account that they said that they weren't doing. All the all here's here's the here's a running theme. Every game that I mentioned from a Sony a Sony Studio that's coming to PC, every single one of them is going to require a PlayStation account, regardless of whether it's single player or multiplayer. I only touch on that because I mentioned when the Helldivers thing was going on. I'm just listen. They're gonna they're gonna keep trying to do that. They're they're gonna be very aggressive. Oh yeah, hundred so percent. The only that. reason that they reversed their decision for Helldivers. Mm-hmm. Is because like I so I honestly think that since like from the get go of your average player playing Hell Divers, they're like subconsciously training you to be like a fascist regime to all ban like in a I guess in a positive mm-hmm. light to band together and uh, fight the forces of anything that's not democracy. So mm-hmm. like you know everyone is kind of on the same wavelength with fighting the automatons and the and the bugs and but it's all under like this big meme banner of uh of like of democracy of uh you know super earth right it's like you versus everybody and then mm-hmm. right sony came out with this decision to to do this and the players were so uh like jazzed up condi- and zealous yeah already conditioned to do that they were like no we're gonna fight back and it actually fucking worked i think that was a fluke yeah, I'm no, obviously it, it probably it probably was. Uh, I think but, that but, we were also subconsciously conditioned to to stick up for one another because of the very nature of hell divers. Uh, <laughs> like that's the way yeah. that it turned. I, it's just crazy. Yeah, no, 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 no. I get that, but I, I just I just figured I'd touch on that because you know obviously some people were looking forward to Ragnarok on the PC, and I just feel like uh, I just wanted to touch on that remind because I've I've heard, already heard some kind of murmurings and uproars and whatnot that you know they. The, these single player games are going to need PlayStation accounts, all of them, which like I touched on well, last time was, is really because it's, they need those account. Like aside from the fact that there's ulterior motives in wanting like that kind of real estate on the PC, they also need like to show like, Oh, account numbers. They got to go up. They top up, up that kind of thing. Um, but uh, yeah, anyway, so the, so the, the presentation went along. There was a new, there's a new dynasty warriors games game coming out called origins. Uh, there was a cute little game called Infinity Nikki, Nikki or something like that, which nobody here is going to give a shit but me, but it looks like it's just a, it's got nice music you explore and shit. A bunch of VR stuff I don't care about because VR is a dead gimmick. Uh, there's a new Aliens game coming out. Uh, that Marvel Rivals, uh, game that leaked a while ago and playtesters were playing it got shown again. Um, another hero I'm not shooter. this time that whatsoever, little... but apparently so, it's like not terrible. So yeah, what I was what I want to say about that is from what I've seen, it actually it's basically from what I can describe it, it's third person Overwatch. It is a hero shooter. There's a lot more the the team based mechanics come from like power ups called team ups where you fight each other or fight with each other, I should say. My major thing is like if there are objectives, they're very sparse. Like it's not like a grueling thing like an Overwatch where like if the match is like just dragging along, um, it's it's just not feasible. Like it, it looks like you're meant to actually combat other players and like have fun and kill other players. Like, Oh no, have we're, fun. We're, no. we're like overwatch is like kind of grueling and like over time they balanced it more. Like 
you can't really do 1v2s and 1v3s or like you can't really come out on top if the numbers just aren't there which is a big thing i know joe fucking hated about the game as it went that way but i I didn't care for it either um uh that's that's something that doesn't appear to be as much of an issue even though there it, it does support team play and it's catered towards that with different archetypes uh so they showed that and it looked it looked better i'm not necessarily interested in it but it does look more entertaining than your average hero shooter um surprising honestly (laughs) yeah immediately after that there was a game and it's just like samurai arpg and i'm just like oh so is ghost of tsushima wasn't there like a didn't they announce something or maybe maybe they're showing more rise of ronin gameplay because it's been a while since about no there's another game that just looks like rise of ronin and um ghost of tsushima or like a take on that particular thing i don't know how many of these fucking games we need it's called where the wind meets uh, or uh, where winds okay. meet, or something like that. After that, apparently they showed we need a lot of them. Apparently, we do. Uh, after that, they showed Until Dawn, which you may remember came out on the PS4, but they're remaking it. Hopefully, they add more. It's it's basically that's that's the kind of game. It's like a like a spooky kind of game. It's choice driven. It's fine for like one off plays. It's not necessarily for you for multiple reasons. Uh, I don't Why even think it? it's for Joe really, but. Don't you really feel like like all of this stuff that like you're describing just feels very like what's the word like homogenous? I, I don't know how to how to, how else to describe it. It's like by the numbers. It, uh, like I don't want to say it's like AI generated, but that's like <laughs> if you AI ask generated. me to like if you <laughs> ask me to 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 say like if you like gave like a computer just be like hey make a video game and then like it came up with like this the cinematic trailer that you're you're you described with like the guardians of the galaxy like these ragtag groups of, of like weird characters that are like all very mm-hmm. different from one another who all work together and it's just like i i and then in addition to that you're just like you and and then like immediately after that you're just like oh they, they came up with another like basically ghost of tsushima-esque like you know game that takes place in japan and and the mm-hmm. only thing i can think is like what what the f- that's it's yeah. it literally it sounds like you just said like it like you just told Jet GPT to just fucking make a fucking <laughs> Sony pres- well, presentation well, for me. Well, like uh, what what I'll say is this: I mean, me, you, and Dan, me and Dan especially, because I've gone multiple rants on the earlier episodes, is like the the industry is not in like the healthiest place. So it's going to be a lot of similar ideas and copying homework. And, you know, more of the same and what's safe and trends that have technically died out already. Like, I talked about, I talked a little bit about Marvel Rivals and Dan wants to talk about Deadlock from Valve later. Rumors are saying that Marvel Rivals is going to go like some kind of restructuring to make it more like Deadlock once Deadlock comes out because they want to get ahead of the game and copy that game a little bit. So we'll see what happens there. But like, uh, but, but like the industry just isn't in a good spot. We talk about this constantly. So even big you know, presentations like this is going to be like, here's the third samurai game. Here's another Marvel kind of game. Here's a literal Marvel game. You know, here's a port. Here's a remake. Here's a, you know, well, like I said, that, that one little game that I'm probably interested in, or, you know, for now is, is a little different, but so anyway, they have the until, until dawn remake, which is probably just going to be like flashier with better camera angles to be more cinematic, even though that, that game could use more content in its choices. Um, after that path of exile two is apparently getting some kind of update. I didn't really pay attention cross play. That's all I know. They're, um, uh, it's, they're getting path of exile two is getting, uh, it's like a whole console, uh, thing. thing. They have a team at, at, uh, grinding gear. That's like, specifically working on Path of Exile 4 console and then also couch co-op. That, that was the big thing. Gotcha. All right. Uh, yeah. After th- after that, something only I really give a shit about and not for the right reasons, the Silent Hill 2 remake got a very extensive gameplay trailer and then afterwards they got, they did its own uh, little event called a Silent Hill intermission. That's something we can talk about later. But basically All it's, right. you know, it's, it's everybody's favorite Bloober team. They memed themselves into making the remake, and it's going exactly as you would expect. It's just, it's, it's, they don't understand the source material. So it's just going to, it's going to look really nice, but it's not going to play, feel, or have the same story beats. It's just, it's a, da- it's a downgrade. Uh, Monster mm. Hunter Wilds, I think that might have been a, a new game announcement. I'm not sure. I can't keep up with the Monster Hunters. There's just too many. It's, it's Capcom's yearly franchise. I think it's new. Who knows? Um, and then, or maybe it's the first time it saw gameplay. And then lastly, and this was surprising, remember Astro's Playhouse? It was like a, it was like a launch title for the PS5. It's like a little tie-in uh, kind of thing. Vaguely. 
Have yeah. like a little uh, robot, I think. Yeah, exactly. So he's getting his own little uh, like platformer adventure game, and like not really for me. I'm not a he. He's like this. This robot is like the mascot that they're that they're you know throwing out there, right? Like mm-hmm. because it's just like you know it's like uh you know we're not gonna we're not doing an Uncharted right now. Jack, Sly, Ratchet. We're not really giving them too much love, even though Ratchet is still is still around. Um, you know, Sackboy, you know, who, who cares about that? You know, who cares about all these legacy characters? We need something new for the PlayStation, and he's there in, I guess. And as much as I don't think he really has the staying power, as much as I don't think he's for me, it was nice to see something that was just colorful and, you know, <laughs> kind of looked fun. It was like a colorful plat. Like, that game had the most color out of everything shown today and including the the ragtag fucking concord game they're they're Gal- guardians of the galaxy which kind of like looked muted and washed out a little bit i don't know so that was that was the um that was the playstation direct was, yeah nothing really state exciting of state of yeah state of play whatever you want to yes yeah, state of play uh just a bunch of disappointments by the number of stuff stuff that was boring and one game you know i'm looking at it now that one like like colorful anime cutesy kind of game that i'm kind of interested in i have a, I, something about it it's just like the way they described it where it's like an early access thing is this like going to be some kind of mobile thing god i hope not i don't need uh, microtransactions in this little platformer thing i hey, will see what happens maybe i'll look it up mobile later. gamers are still gamers anthony how dare no, you they're not no they're not they're... <laughs> that's oh oh i can be able to say those jokes <laughs> Uh, if we get any bigger than how we are. <laughs> oh, Jesus so, Christ. Well, since you mentioned it, uh, yeah, Deadlocked well. by Valve, I think they're going down the wrong road, just from the little I've heard of it so far. Oh, yeah? Um, I think that... I, I, I don't know. I, I just... We don't need another fucking hero shooter. Like, Team Fortress 2 is still very much popular. It's still doing huge numbers on Steam for a game that's like... What yeah, it? it's almost twenty years old at this point. Oh, uh, it's 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 very old. Yeah, it's, it's quite really old. old. And you know they they kind of perfected the hero shooter formula with that game. You know, yeah, I, I just don't think we need to do another one. Well, uh, here's but the thing. Valve being Valve, they'll probably knock it out of the park. Who, who the fuck knows? So so here's the thing about Deadlocked. A few things. First of all, it's the first time I've seen like because everybody likes to comment. And it's just like oh you know Valve stuff leaks and everybody says it's bad, but then it ends up being good. I'm just like I don't know. I'm not getting the like I've looked at, you know, you you look at the Half Lives and the and the Left for Dead's and the Portals and all the different games. There's a certain charm to them, you know. There's a certain it factor, and I don't think Deadlock has it. And like people are saying, like I oh, haven't it's seen the uh, gameplay. I know that you've seen some of the leaked game. Yeah. I haven't seen it. So basically, the best way I can put it is, it is a hero shooter. Um, the thing is, it's also a MOBA. It's a four lane MOBA. That immediately um, puts me off. I, yeah, it's I, I it's, like it's basically. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, like I, I get that kind of physical, like ew, kind of like, reaction to it. What did he say? I don't know. What so it's smite. Oh, smite. Yeah, potentially. Yeah. Uh, like I don't. I don't know too much about smite. Uh, what I will say about deadlocked is the, the the couple things that had my attention, and one thing might get your attention is it is a third person shooter, which like I keep saying, there are just not enough of, and I think that that might yeah. actually get the attention of quite a few people. Um, I, the other thing I'll point out is that like, it's got kind of Bioshock infinite movement. Like there's like rails you can hold on to and like go around. I don't know if it's just that specific map or how much of that is in the, is, is a mechanic, but I don't know. It's, it, it doesn't look all that interesting. It also has some of that, like just modern day character design where even though they're doing like, you know, different types of characters. Like you have like an Aboriginal guy with a bow and arrow, or a, an Indian guy. I don't know. I get I get all the native types. I get them mixed up because I'm just I'm not a history guy. Uh, you have like, you know, uh, fucking some guy dressed like he's from the 20s, but he's also like a demon and he fires fire from his finger. Uh, you got a giant like a World War One looking guy. Like it's got a it's got a it's got a big cast. But like it's never felt so dull by comparison. Like it, like it's, it's 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 so weird to me. It's it's like I'm not I, I'm not gonna make the comparison. It's it it, it looks nicer than Concord. But fucking um, <laughs> uh, it it's just like I don't know. There's something dull about it that just doesn't. I don't know. It's 
it does it doesn't seems to be like, a reoccurring theme with with us today like, it's just it's I, like, something's off but like here's the thing like i i think i i think back, i'll let you talk in a second joe but i i think back to when team fortress 2 was new there was a certain like it was a little bit more grounded believe it or not like in all the promotional material and how they introduced some of the characters like it it was it was the kind of game that was a little goofy but it took itself seriously and then very shortly after launch it stopped taking itself seriously the, or the it, best, it, it leaned Team into Fortress 2 had the best marketing of like any fucking game i've ever seen oh, yeah, i was, absolutely yeah. loved the the uh, the meet the whatever for yeah, the, those, the those, those 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 are very neat genius yes those yeah. were very neat um, but so the, 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 and then, like the, a decade after the game came out, they finally came out with the Meet the Pyro. They yeah, they, didn't they, they, have they, they one for the longest time. Yeah, and then the, yeah. like from nowhere, they just dropped it, and it was it was great. It was everything. Yeah, there, there was a, they 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 did they did those kind of things. And that was all, that was those were always very neat. But if you if you ever get a chance, you should just look back at some of the earliest trailers and some of the in-game like not cutscenes because they didn't really have them back then, but like in-game like demo reels and stuff like that and you'll notice there's a kind of like there's a certain like edge to it that it didn't really have go as the game progressed and like that's that's kind of what i'm reminded when i look at deadlock uh i don't know if that's like a sign that it's gonna it'll be better when we when we see it proper and we get more out of it but i don't know uh joe you wanted to say something I was just saying I was looking at it and like I don't know if this game is going to cost money. I, I can see it being because it's a Valve game. I can see it being like one of the games that's kind of like very popular like internationally. Uh, I don't think this is like I, I don't know. It, it, I, I, it, I, it, it'll it could probably just be have... that it's a, it's a genre issue for us, and that's probably maybe why we are like, well, tired also... of it. Well, here's we, the thing. We the, played the, the, enough the... Overwatch and shit that we're like just absolutely <laughs> kind of like sick of it at this yeah. point, and I, I certainly Can am. You send so... me the leak gameplay. I, I I probably should yes. see this. Yeah, Joe, if you got it, you can send it to him. Like, like some some of this stuff looks kind of cool, like this Infernus character or whatever, and like the Rails thing he just showed. Yeah. Uh, so, I, like, yeah, my my the whole rest thing of it is, does look like Smite. Just yeah. Valve uh, Zone Smite. This yeah, what, looks what, like third person uh, Team Fortress. Yeah, like the third person aspect of it is definitely going to be big, but it's just like I don't know, like maybe it's just the art style just isn't all there yet, because it it kind of looks like it's going for that like cartoonish cell shaded that Team Fortress Two did, but it looks yeah. cheaper. Like I don't know, yeah, it's like it didn't really well, from advance. this footage, yeah, but like well, how far saying. into yeah, it, development it, it, are they? Yes, yes, but like here's the thing, like immediately after this leaked stuff happened, we like apparently like the like internal testing numbers for like play testing like how many people were playing the game like jumped up to mm-hmm. like the thousands like there were thousands of people playing it so i oh, I, don't, okay. I can't imagine like this is like super alpha footage like this is probably closer to release than we think mm-hmm. um but uh yeah so it's just i don't know this there's like it looks subdued i don't know like, I, there's something about this it this doesn't look appealing to me whatsoever Honestly. Yeah, this is like like and don't get me wrong, like I if it's free to play, I'll give it a shot. But it's like yeah. you know, like like Joe, you said like, oh, you know, the gameplay doesn't look that bad. This is just like how the game handles. It's not like the game proper, because it is a MOBA, you know? Right. No, of course. So, and and like I said, like I'm I'm not in the first place I'm not crazy. I, I don't really like any MOBAs, to be totally honest. And I I don't either. I, yeah, I'm, I'm with you on that one. I'm very I mean, I if I'm gonna be completely honest, I'm like kind of over most competitive shooters <laughs> to, be, yeah. to be blunt um so uh when i when i heard that it was a hero shooter i was just like well it's probably just a valve game i'm probably not gonna play very much but mm-hmm. like somehow tf2 doesn't come off as that sort of thing so maybe it will just it's kind of be- end up the same way well because it's, it's more grounded like that's definitely why basically it, it doesn't look you know it doesn't look like it really for at least to me have that it factor the genre it's trying to fall into is like not something that's for me, but uh, obviously a lot of people are going to be excited because it is Valve and they don't make games all that often unless they they feel like they have a really killer idea and their fans are pretty hardcore. So we'll see we'll see exactly how Valve fares in like this current era where everything kind of sucks, you know. Uh-huh. Yeah. Speaking of kind of sucking from Shore uh, Four, this is one of the guys who was playing fucking Overwatch. I actually remember them. <laughs> God damn it. 
is that he's, he's in the he's in the link video, link video so oh okay yeah the, uh, the the next thing i wanted to just briefly touch upon is um so sony royally fucked up and uh they launched the final shape early like a week early on the <laughs> psn store but no other platform had it but so like if you caught it at the right time window you could log into the game and you were just on final shape like you just walked through a fucking open door um and people <laughs> but okay this wasn't it wasn't like the raid leaked or some you know something uh, a location leaked or, or something like that no 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 the entire expansion launched for like a couple hours and people were able to get in look at the collections tab see the lore play through however much of the campaign they wanted to <laughs> um it was pretty fucking huge mm. <laughs> uh and i i just i really don't have anything else to say about that but it it just kind of wild the fact that this that this happened. <laughs> just wanted to slide in and, and remind everybody that y your own personal hell something bad happened <laughs> <laughs> my own personal hell uh, yeah, so I'm going to be doing my best in the next week to avoid story spoilers for the final shape. But that uh, that was that was pretty wild. Yeah. Um, anyway, um, let's see what else we got. Uh, I confirmed that COD is now coming to Game Pass with Black Ops Six launching day one on Game Pass. That's pretty cool. Oh, Although yeah, I am right. flabbergasted at the delivery method of this news. <laughs> yeah, um, we're just like in the <laughs> middle of the week. Here's a little announcement. <laughs> Which, here's, a, here's a fucking tweet. Yeah, if I was a, if I was a younger man and the industry is in a better place, I would probably go, and go "Oh, that means they have something amazing to show at their showcase." If oh they're just God! Dropping I this see. I didn't. Of the week. That didn't even <laughs> dawn on me, Anthony. I, that that thought didn't even fucking occur to me. Like, if I was a more hopeful person, I would think that they are bringing all of the cards to Game Pass, and they will announce that at the at the black ops 6 direct press conference um but i just don't know <laughs> i just don't know and uh, mm. and it which is the fact that they were just like oh yeah it's gonna come out in game pass bye <laughs> and that that was it like i would have yeah. figured that would have been their ace up their sleeve during yeah, the press i was conference. we we talked about this ad nauseum at the end of the yeah. last episode we we're just yeah. like oh where would they put that where would that where would be the best place to put that and i was Boy, saying like and I, and I was saying like oh you either end the call of duty event with that or you end the xbox event with it's gotta that be a book leading it's into either the, at the very yeah. beginning or the very end exactly and you lead it like my my money was on opening the xbox showcase with call of duty coming to game pass and then ending it with Call of Duty Black Ops 6 coming to Game Pass, and now here's the showcase of Call of Duty Black Ops. That, that was where my my bet was yeah. lying. My bet 100%. was not my bet was not two weeks in advance, middle of the week, <laughs> I'm just gonna drop it. You know? So that was that like on a they, random they, they, tweet on like a Wednesday. It is it is uh surprising, if nothing else. Yeah, so that was pretty wild. Um I do we know anything else about Black Ops Six? That's that that Warren's uh, talking about. I mean, I mean, the setting is you know the the, the Gulf War period. There's rumors that oh, yeah. 911 is going to be a playable mission. Um, so okay, all right, let's back up fuck? for a second. If that is actually <laughs> true, I like the 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 mass shooting for No Russian back in 2011, 2009, right? Um, that I feel like was a different. That was like a fictional event, uh, in a, in a video game level, right? Which is fine. Mm -hmm. I genuinely don't know how I feel about a nine eleven mission. I don't yeah, know if little, that I'm. Yeah, yeah I don't fun. know if I'm being a little ridiculous, but I that one I lived through it. All well, three of us did. Um, so that was like a. A, a factual historical event that took place and changed the world forever. Um, and I guess depending on the context of the mission in the game, and we are just speculating off of a wild fucking rumor right now, but um, I don't know how I feel about that being a level in a, in a call of duty game, no less, not like something else with a more serious tone with something else grander to say, blah, 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 blah. 
but that I just feel like that's a little bit over the line, in my opinion. It is kind of over the line. I mean, honestly. I mean, people, okay, people, yeah, people, I just, people, yeah, people I mean, on the yeah, on, it could be. I mean, people what? on the internet like make jokes and shit, but like, like obviously, realistically, it was it was it was pretty it was pretty horrible fucking thing, obviously, and yeah. it, like you said, you did, it did change the world forever. So yeah, like that was a thing that people uh, lived through. Like it, it still affects them to this day. Um, you know, people know people who actually died during this real life event like yeah a mass shooting is horrible people have lost loved ones in a mass shooting but as far as i know the the for no russian like that was just a fictional event that they made up for that game um that was more like i I mean obviously like i never actually played it but like that was obviously like a like a you never played i didn't i don't remember i didn't do that mission Whatever I played, the, I think the first Modern Warfare. I oh, haven't wow. really played okay. the. I played the more. I mowed down ones, like a hundred but... civilians. God damn! Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus Christ! I'm like oh wow! All right, and I just lit on the trigger. But it was like obviously like it was soldiers killing people, and it was just framed as like a you know whatever, right? It's terrorist attacks, yeah. Right, right. So, but it was a fictional like... event. They didn't base it off of anything, as far as I'm aware. Right. I feel like them having a 9-11 mission is a wildly different thing. That That's just... And I think it's kind of important to point out that all three of us are from New York. I don't think that that's like... If we were from, like, fucking Utah or something, yeah, maybe I mean, it wouldn't it, be the that, same. Yeah, I mean, that's part of it. Like, you know, not to not to go too far off track, my, my uh, uncle was... A uh, first responder oh, to wow. it and uh, almost... My, yeah, my uncle as well. He, he yeah. still has... Uh, um, asthma to this like to this day induced from yeah. falling through a fucking floor trying to rescue somebody no, yeah, um, so like, i mean we have family that were that yeah. were involved in this and it's like right. how, does, how does that make you you feel personally with this potential you know i mean mission? i are you actually asking me or was that yeah, like a I'm rhetorical I'm question I'm no I'm oh, okay well i would have asked rhetorical I, or just didn't right now i don't know um about. uh i I think a large part of it kind of relies on how they handle it. And yeah, and like if you're going to, if you're going to play as like a passenger on one of the planes or I, I mean, I, I don't know because it, we all know what happened. Like, it's not like you're going to walk through. You can't be the fucking pilot. I just, that would be crazy. That'd be fucking mm-hmm. crazy. Um, yeah. I, the word respect comes to mind, right? Um, mm-hmm. They they have to do it in and if they are going to do it, they have to do it in a way where it would have to respect the memory of the people who died in that attack. I don't know what that looks like. I don't even know how you would even start doing that. But I I really do feel like us three being from New York, all three of us lived through it. I mean, I remember where mm-hmm. I was when it happened. Oh yeah. Um same. so I it's it's a different thing for us, I think specifically. Um and just hearing about it as a rumor, as something that might make it into the game, I I don't know right now. I just, they have to handle it, right? Like, as yeah. a gamer, I'm all for powerful missions that are telling a story mm-hmm. in a video game. Like, I know it's just a game, but, like, they could evoke real emotion. And yeah. they just have to handle it, right? But I, a lot of people are going to be extremely harsh critics on it. It's not like you're going oh, yeah. through a fictional event. Um, even though uh, uh, politicians tried to use the no Russian mission as like, this is why we need to get rid of video games. Uh, I don't think that's even remotely possible now, but Mm. uh, I I don't know, man. It makes me feel funny. I I can't really put it much better than that. I get what you mean. It's it's, it's unprecedented. I was going to, I was going to go down. I was going to say the exact same thing. Like they, they politicians say that sort of shit about like video games. So like, can you fucking imagine what they're going to say about that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah like, <laughs> that's, yeah. Especially, especially was, like, um, yeah. when uh, Poli- Modern Warfare 2 came out, that was giant. Poli- yeah. Politicians in general, I mean, they still have that kind of look like, obviously there's a lot of other shit going on in the world where they're, they're fighting over it. But every, every time video games comes up, they still get like the, the, the same bum reputation and bum deal. But it, it would be like, have as much traction now as it did. Well, yeah, because but, there's yeah. too much other shit going on. But it's when also it comes too much up, money involved. when it when it comes up, like you still have you still have like 
you know, the, the liberal types going like, oh, you know, we got this is this is all about violence and glorifying it. And then you have the conservative types saying the same thing. But then they, they go the step further, like cons- conservatives in particular are very like hyper against entertainment because they just want like, <laughs> you know, you mean, Joe, we need to we need to bulk up and go die in some fucking conflict like that's what they want from us. And the other side just wants us to not have fun. It's it's fucking <laughs> it's insane to me. But yeah, Either the, have the, no the, fun or have <laughs> way too much fun. <laughs> have no fun or have no fun and die. Actually, both sides are really saying that. So we give a fuck. But basically, yeah, yeah like it, it, it doesn't. There's too much shit going on in the world where it doesn't come up as often. A 9/11 mission in a Call of Duty, hot off the heels of uh, of Activision of being sued the over the shoot. Uh, what? Of everything going on in the world, like well, we I, got I'm, out of fucking Afghanistan and then we immediately went into Ukraine. Yeah, there's like, there's I, just I, so much shit. So much shit. Yeah. So much, so much fucking shit. But that that'll that'll get the spotlight on them. It's like right after a lawsuit, where like after a so, mass shooting, like a bunch of people are suing Activision, which there's a lot of people to blame in that. Situation. That that I'm not gonna talk about. There's, that's a whole other fucking thing. But to follow that up with like fucking a 9/11 mission in a Call of Duty, yeah, yeah. I would wowie give it another, zowie. I would give yeah. it another 30 years, dude. Honestly. Literally, <laughs> like literally another like 30. They fucked, yeah. Yeah. So okay. So our I, I, it's sounding like we're all in pretty unanimous agreement on this it's, rumor mill. Right yes, now. where it's basically like you need to do it right. You know, I'm or not, not like, do it. Yeah. Yeah. So so like remember we had that talk about censorship like a while ago. Yeah. I'm not of the mind where yes. it's just like yeah, like that's a good I'm, callback. I'm, I'm I'm not gonna sit here and go like, ooh, I'm not gonna clutch my pearls. But at the right. same time, it's like if you fuck that up, you know, yeah. like so I don't, like. I, that might be something that could do some irreparable damage to the Call of Duty brand. Now that I'm actually thinking about it, potentially um, you never know. Yeah, yeah. Like but the last majorly offensive thing they put in a COD game is what? Like potentially torturing uh, like a woman and child in Modern Warfare 2019. Uh, pride camos. <laughs> uh-huh. I'm serious. Like oh, I know. Uh, no, it was. It was. It- it was something in Modern Warfare 2019, where it, it was. Um, pro- oh no no no! It was uh, Hell's Highway. That, was, oh, that they based that mission yes. off of an actual place in the Middle East where people died, and you know that was they, like they a, changed like one of the, the, the most forces. dangerous stretches of road. Yeah. Yeah, and they um, they changed the forces who were that, at play. That's still so. not really the same thing. I I think. Prior to all that, I mean, I it was no Russian. That was it. That's like yeah. the most over the no top Russian thing is where the, where controversies did. peaked. Modern Warfare yeah. nineteen had a few had a few moments where they tried to stick it something to it and it just didn't. Though. Yeah, they it didn't, didn't put you in the hands of a terrorist shooting innocent civilians that were actively running away from. Like that's a yeah. different fucking thing. Um, and then putting a non eleven mission in a in a Call of Duty game, mm-hmm. I don't know, man. Like as a New Yorker who was alive when it happened, it's, that's uh, you gotta, it's hand, you gotta handle it a certain way. And I love COD. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm a I I I am a fan of Call of Duty. Maybe not so much like right this second. Um, mm-hmm. but I grew up playing Call of Duty. I played pretty much every single one. But that's that's a lot, dude. I don't know. Yeah. I just can't even. I can't even picture it. Like I'm trying. Like to, where would they put you? You know. Kind of, yeah. That's that's what. That's that was my first thought. My second thought was whether they handle it good or not. I I just. I don't know. I just, Too risky. I, it, it, that's yeah. not even. It's it's ugh. it's it's tricky because a lot of the um there's it's almost like a common trend in Call of Duty since No Russian to kind of have like a tragic event like every Call of Duty right. or every other Call of Duty has that do like we do it do mod- we not do it. Well, Modern Warfare 3 had, like, a gas attack in London where you played as a family, and it, I think yes, the mission was called, that. like, Davis Family Vacation or something, you play the camera guy, and, like, this right. event happens in the background. So, are they going to do that, where you're just, like, you're in New York when it happens? Are you going to be Again, in the towers? Event. Are you going to be in the towers? Yeah. Are you going to be in the plane? Yeah. Are you going to be a responder? Are you going to be the, the hijacker? Yeah. Like, what, what are you going to do? So, yeah. we'll see. And I, in any way you slice it, it could just... 
it has just yeah. such a high fucking it's, potential to be so offensive. Exactly. And like on the flip side of that is like if you pull your punches, it's like why did you even bring the event up? Why did you do it in the first place? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's oh, tricky. I do not I do not envy the, the the people who are saddled with that decision after somebody said, Okay, we're doing it. But who knows? Maybe it's not even happening. We'll see what happens. Hold on. Well after we just speculated on this for the past ten minutes, uh -huh. um, do we know where that where this rumor came from? Uh, it was, it was a rumor that had also, uh, it was, there was something alongside it. It was before the official announcement. Um, let me see if I can pull it up because basically what happened is it, this was, this was before, um, obviously the game was announced properly and there was a lot of details in that, um, that lined up with the official release. So let's see. All right. Uh, scroll down. Yeah, because like I remember reading that for the first time a couple of days ago, and I was like, "Oh boy, yeah. <laughs> oh man." Okay. I mean, <laughs> it, it actually reminds me. It's like because after Black Ops came out, it's implied that like Mason was brainwashed to kill JFK, and they just oh, they geez. never they never went anywhere that with all. that. You don't remember that? That's how Black Ops no. ends because like. Like, it ends with him... Uh, I forget which of the bad guys... I know all the bad guys' names because of the, the Reznov bit, but, like, I don't remember who is the one you drown at the end. But he's like, you tried to make me kill your, my own president. And he goes, tried. And then, like, the ending is, like, a picture... Oh, that's right. ...taken, taken from, oh, like, like the, the motorcade, and they, like, photoshopped him into the background yes. of that photo. I, oh, I haven't played Black Ops 1 in so fucking yeah. long. I, that's a, that's a, that's I really want to replay one. that. Yeah, I can't so find good. any. That game I, so good. Yeah, I can't find any of the information here, but I remember it being part of like a series of leaks. You know, people say a lot of things; they throw a lot of shit that sticks, uh, especially in the early rumor mills. But I do remember it coming out with uh, other information that ended up being the case. Uh, so, well, I guess we'll just we'll just have to wait and see because I can't find yeah. it. Actually, hold on. Uh, all their marketing posters have been in New York, blah, blah, blah. Apparently there's something in like the, in the, um, the trailers also further this, but this also could be the, just the trailer showing like all the events that happened, you know, they kind of say like, uh, you know, mm -hmm. things that, well, you cause know, that was 2001 Gulf war was in the nineties. So, yeah, so we'll see. What I happens. mean, I don't know how you make that work chronologically. I mean, we'll, we'll see what happens. Like I said, I'm, I'm not as big into call of duty as you guys. I'm not, saying that like i'm pro censorship i think they should handle handle it you know with respect just as the kind that just because they should mm -hmm. um and but at the same time i would if i was them i would just advise that they didn't but but that's not yeah. like yeah but you're, it, and, you're, and you're, you're you're more or less bracing for like the potential of it not saying we must stop this at any cost you're just like well, eh, like i don't, know I don't that. think that, that as far as like the censorship goes if they want to do it, fucking do it. But you yeah, better do, do it. it right. Yeah, you know? it's um, it's it's they are free to do it, and we would never stop them from doing it. But we are free to react to it if it's you uh, know. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Uh, all right. So nine eleven and Call of Duty. That's a fucking thing, apparently. Uh, but uh, allegedly, we'll see what happens. Oh yeah. I, anyone else have anything to talk about? I'm trying to look through my saved articles. I don't. I think that was it for me. Yeah. Uh, um, no one is working on Cyberpunk anymore, so that's cool. Yeah, it's <laughs> weird how they stopped, considering it's not fucking finished yet. But you know, it is what it is. Yes, it is. It was done. It's not finished. The, the joke is, it's still not like yeah, yeah, half the yeah, game yeah. that was announced. Well, they, they might be working on a season two of the show or something. Maybe. Yeah, Who know. knows? Yeah, the show, yeah, the, yeah, the show was great. I loved it. It was shit. Yeah. Okay. It yeah. was a it was a way to re-advertise the game in my yeah, opinion. Yeah, it's 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 a it's a crappy unfinished game carried by an, a mid anime. Good job. I thought the anime everybody. was I thought the anime was actually pretty pretty alright. But yeah, see, well, I but I was fuck I you, did I have not like opinion. the ending <laughs> of of the show. Yeah, I did not like the ending. It was uh, it was dour. Was, I didn't it like it very, because it was sad. Not yeah, but that's like the, that's the whole like theme of the cyberpunk universe. Everything. Uh, is, I know. Like, I just I don't like shows that make me feel fucking awful. <laughs> that's really well, I, there's other shows out there. 
I know, I know. I'm just, uh, it's just a feeling. It was a good. It was a Neil good Druckmann show. says that AI will revolutionize gaming. But apparently, he also doesn't say that because they retracted yeah. the they retracted yeah. the fucking interview. <laughs> oh was God. the interview was the interview written by AI and that just like slipped out or something? Like, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't who the fuck is Neil Druckmann again? Who is that guy? He's a He's loser. The, the, the I'm sorry. Head of <laughs> Uh, he was the game director for The Last of Us. Yeah. Okay. And which is the only fucking thing Naughty Dog has done for like 15 years. Yeah, that, 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 that we talked very, about. Last, so. I have very mixed feelings on AI. I, I gotta be honest. Like, mm. and, and, and that is what I'm saying is like, I, I'm looking at it from like ignoring like the ethical concerns about jobs and shit. If I, if I even say that, like, but I, I, I think there's potential for to make something cool, but not if you just let it like direct everything. That's that's no, I guess there's no creativity involved with it. You have to give it right. a, like hyper specific parameters as to what you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's like, a fucking I, computer. <laughs> I, I like uh, I think I, I tried to, to explain this to Anthony. The only thing I think AI could really be really used for is like improv, and that's like basically it. Like improv. Make, like, yeah, who's like, it anyway? Like, no. <laughs> what I'm trying to say <laughs> is, like, for for example, if, you, like, you have, like, an NPC and, like, a... Say you're playing Skyrim, right? Mm -hmm. And, like, you have an NPC, right? And, like, the NPCs around town, like, they all have, like, basically, like, their, their separate, like, disposition values to you. So, like, if you, you start a fight in the middle of fucking town, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. basically, every NPC in the area will, like... Basically, a war will erupt, and, like, everyone who likes you will just be killing everyone who doesn't like you with whatever they have and shit, you know? But, like, what if they, like, reacted, like, hey, why the fuck did you do that? Or, <laughs> you know, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's what I mean. Like, improv, like, maybe improv for, like, dialogue or something. Like, having I, I, I them. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Like, giving the NPCs a, a tinge more of personality than they might ordinarily have. Or, I suppose, if a, if a voice actor agrees to that sort of thing then like having them like you know basically voice model for something so that the ai could read dialogue in a more uh, modular way you know mm. th th things like that but but i i don't think that like it's going to replace anybody anytime soon it it it's too simply too shitty like, <laughs> that's really the bottom line it's it's most I'm ai shit on that. is is awful it's too it's too shitty <laughs> It is, and that's where, like, when, I'm, when <laughs> Anthony was describing, like, the, the PlayStation showcase shit, I was like, I was like, this sounds like a fucking, like, an AI-directed video game. Like, and I looked at the picture of it, and it, it, like, I saw this big colorful thing with a fucking woman in her something in a space suit, and I was like, this, it sounds like, like, AI was fed, like, Guardians of the Galaxy, which is exactly what you said, and, like, they just fucking took it, and they're just like, hey, make something, make something, uh, make a video game. And it just, <laughs> it's very, like... Like that's what that's basically what happened, and that's what it looks like. And I'm like, it, and, and I know it's okay, a lot it's okay of people, Joe. It's it's okay. <laughs> a lot of people really like really bag on the MCU, like for having a very, I suppose, like predictable. It was great experience. right up until Endgame. Right, and, and and like they they bag on it for having like a like a, like yeah like I like the MCU. That's what I'm saying. Like. You know, uh, everything, everything after I, Endgame, everything, with everything the exception, kind of yeah, with the exception of I enjoyed Guardians three. The Spider Man movies were were pretty good. Um, mm -hmm. I know Anthony's got his own fucking opinion what? on that one. Yeah, well, because he likes uh, Sam Raimi, but that that's yeah. about as far as no, he likes Tobey Maguire. That too. That that's what I meant. <laughs> like he 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 exclusively uh, likes the Tobey Maguire like forty year old, fifty year old Spider Man. You know. a beach. <laughs> Why you gotta be so <laughs> just about it? <laughs> because, because he looked like he was like fucking like forty, like when he's playing a fucking college. Fucking student. twenty-five in high school. Yeah, oh God, it, it just, those movies are great. Looked, you can blow me. It's like fucking. <laughs> it's like Twenty-One Jump Street, Spider-Man. That's what he fucking looks like, man. Um, I, I and I, I like Tobey and Gry. I was charmed by the movies when they came out, but he does not look fucking young, dude. It oh, did not. not. It, it didn't it didn't age as well as as I had hoped. Uh, but yeah, everything after Endgame was just not good. You know, they blew yeah. their load. It's fine. Take a couple of years off. You got nothing to lose. But it just <laughs> feels for like, money. Yeah, 
but like I, I don't know like it just feels like like so many video games just like are trying to like rip on the fucking mcu like fucking like not only like not only the 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 way everything looks but like the fucking dialogue like you were saying like even square Enix with that fucking forespoken game like do you remember that shit you remember when it came Forspoken out spoken looked awful just god, oh my god fucking terrible i just yeah uh, whatever with my freaking mind i, I believe that i believe the line you're looking for is i just killed a game studio with my freaking mind Oh, okay. <laughs> right. Oh, my God. It was so... It was so stupid. It was but, bad. A, a, but that, that is, like, MCU-type dialogue, and this game looks like fucking MCU-type shit. And, and I feel like... Like, when I said homogenous earlier, I was saying that in the derogatory sense is that, like, if you were to give me a, a picture of the games that they have been making lately and, like, said, like, hey, which game is this? I'd be like, I don't fucking know. There's, like, three different options. They all look the fucking same. There's, like, you three know? different it's... options. Yeah. So you're not wrong. You're not wrong at all. Um, yeah. It's just a creativity... Cre- creative, uh, creatively. Son of a bitch. Cre- thank you. Creatively bankrupt. <laughs> it's, like, really... I don't really know how to explain it. I just, like... It's, like, a mix of creativity bankruptcy and like fucking and like creatively bankrupt that's what i was looking for like remember when the the fable we saw that fable trailer too and i was just like what the fuck is this guy what, yeah. what's this dude from this like sitcom dude like oh he's a giant now or he's, something he's, he's, he's from the the it crowd whatever the fuck is oh called. yeah that's where he's from i was oh god like, why never does coming it, out it's like, not why happening. does why does <laughs> everything like have shit, to have like a like a fucking <laughs> like a hollywood actor now like it just it's I don't get because it. that's it's, 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 it's like it's, uh, it's, celebrity it's, endorsements. Well, it's it's a, it's, a, it's a, it, there's a lot of layers to it. Celebrity endorsements is one of it, but it's also it's it's just the desperate need and the desperate feeling from like upper management that just they want games to be taken more seriously than they are. And one of the things that they feel is the way to do this is to uh, take it seriously. Just, like, who? Taken seriously? How? Like the were, mainstream. And people, uh, yeah. people like Tom, who who think who just say like games aren't art. Like those are the people that they that they want to court to. It's just like you know the the the, the film school guys and the 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 people who are just like I watch movies and read books and there's no other art on the planet. And I guess paintings are art too, but not really. You know. Just... But how do you how do you go? I don't. I just I can't even understand the argument. Like if you have video games, that, <laughs> I didn't that, say I didn't say it all... made sense. I'm just saying like that's that's their take on like it is it's one of the reasons have they video it. games that like like on their own have better stories than some some films how can you say that like it's not art it just doesn't compute to me i don't get it because it's not it's a toy you don't have to get it joe you're not you're not smart <laughs> yeah you wouldn't if, if you don't get it it's because you're Idiot. dumb yeah, okay. It's not because well, you, it's not because you have a know, valid argument. It's uh, dildo is a toy, but it could also be a fucking weapon of uh, you know a murder <laughs> weapon. So the last time you murdered that. somebody, have you ever played dildo? Saints Row, dumbass? Yeah. <laughs> the fucking most powerful melee weapon in that game was like so maybe a it's, three maybe, foot dildo. Maybe maybe things can be mutually exclusive. You know. Maybe oh, this God. dildo is art. Maybe right. it is. There you go. <laughs> Okay, well, on the note of dildo, I think we should wrap this bitch up. Uh, with or without the dildo? Speaking Definitely of, with. Oh, okay. All I gotta what? say is, with everything we talked about, it's actually funny. Just you know, not to go too far off off topic, but you know, talking about you know, I, I brought it up before the Silent Hill Two remake, right? And yeah. you know, we we kind of just talked about how games are. I think Silent Hill Two, the original. You know, some some it, it has a reputation it can never live up to, but it is an, a good example of how games are art, because it's 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 basically the precursor to all of these cinematic driven games, but and because of the fact that it's the precursor, it's novel in a way. But looking at this remake, it's like they managed to bungle everything about it in like all the way. It's it's just. It's it's crazy to me that we have like grand examples of video games pushing the medium and and proving itself as an art form and doing things that are unique and blending you know gameplay with you know cinematics and themes and tones and telling stories in a very unique way, and then you have like a remake of it that misses all of the subtlety, all the nuance, all the little touches and all the things that make it great, but 
they're making something that's bigger budget and allegedly looks better, even though the older models look better. And it's like, that's just where we are right now. People that either aren't up to the task or have a completely different view of what the task is helming the medium in a lot of ways. And it's just, it's it's Mm. all crap. Uh, Still hopeful for uh, double AC. Oh, don't get me wrong. I think the future is going to have a lot of neat stuff for us. It's just, it's sad to see in the meantime. Like I said, like Mm. I said a a couple weeks ago, it's like how many, how many, opportunities are we, are we going to miss how many games are going to get dragged through the mud how many legacies are going to be destroyed how many series are going to get stained before things are better and it's just you know it's casualties in a war it just hurts to see yep so. yeah uh cool all right then well i guess that was episode 10 ladies yeah. and gents good job everybody especially joe good who job. managed to, to, to show up at around. the last second yeah Hey. I'm handshaking with myself right now. Um, <laughs> uh, save gross. that for after the fucking podcast. Yeah. You freak. <laughs> uh, all right. Episode 10. Thanks for listening. See you uh, next week. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, man. Somehow we always bring it back to everything sucks. Yeah, but it's, 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 it's you know, it is what it is. That's why I always try, that's why I always try to stress, like, hey, things are going to be fine. I'm so full of hatred. <laughs>